we had Magic on the show um, at the end of December, and your name came up, and Magic was talking about what you and him went through. And how you guys were able to sit down and, and, and patch it up. Which is beautiful, by the way. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, that was no, we were, everyone was big fans of that. Uh, but he also said he would like to see you and Mike patch it up. You called me after that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. we had a conversation on the phone about what was going on. you care to share any of that? Yeah, hey, man. You know, I, just let's, want, let's, I just want some people to be honest. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, mean, I, got, I got no problem sitting down talking with anybody. Mm -hmm. Right? And as you can see, uh, you know, I, I'm... The open book. I, you know, I, I live with love, peace, truth, you know, honesty, courage. I'm, you know, I stand on my square. I'm upright, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm independent. And I sit in any chair and I talk to anybody, right? Mm -hmm. But some people don't, they ain't been telling the truth, mm -hmm. right? Now, anywhere, anytime, publicly, I don't, don't, don't call me behind the scenes apologizing or asking your friends to apologize, right? You got on national television and you call me an asshole. And then you said you hated me. You said that on national television. Now, if you didn't mean it, get on national television and, say that. and apologize for it. Now, if you meant it, let it ride as it is. But, so I called you and that same day, you know who I called? Hmm. I called Magic Johnson. <coughs> Magic was on a the plane. They was shooting a commercial in Atlanta. Him, Sam Jackson, everybody else. We were standing in the Four Seasons Hotel. We missed each other, right? Because he said he had to go. So he on the plane, right? I called him up. Magic didn't mention Michael Jordan. All right. So I'm still waiting. You know, everybody say this stuff publicly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. All right, well, I'm, I'm the type of guy, I sit here, I talk to you, I talk to you. Mm -hmm. It ain't a person in this United States of America that I'm not willing to sit down and have a conversation with and break bread with. Mm -hmm. But if you lying and throwing stones from behind the scenes, Okay, that's you. Mm -hmm. But if you honest and you upright on your square, I'm willing to deal with yeah, you. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, so that's all I know. Mm -hmm. Now, where do we go from here? Mm -hmm. I mean, you told me something interesting. I mean, you have family that had stayed with him at one point. Absolutely. Hey, when, when Jordan first came to Chicago, first of all, we... We were fans of his, and to some extent, still fans of his. My family, his family, not only did they socialize, hang out, but as I said, you know, I, I had a little nephew that lived with him. And and everybody's still cool, right? Ain't no, ain't no hate for yeah. Jordan. Mm -hmm. We just want some realness, mm -hmm. right? They're just you know, like I say, you got on national television, and ain't nobody, ain't nobody nowhere has ever got on national television and called me an asshole, and then publicly said you hate me. Mm -hmm. I ain't heard that from you. I ain't heard that from you. Mm -hmm. I ain't heard that from no NBA player. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, and by the way, all them years that you supposedly hated me, you voted for me to be the president of your union. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, you know I, so, I, I, I seen a lot of pictures of uh, all-star games and y'all laughing and joking. It didn't look like hate. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, if, if, if that, you know, now, now maybe you felt like that privately and I didn't know. But now that I, do know, and by the way, if you didn't mean it that way, then publicly say it. Don't privately say it. You know, Magic, we, we don't need a private conversation. Mm -hmm. Th this man did this on national television, internationally. I have to answer this question, right? 
in every interview that I sit down and do. Mm -hmm. You asking me this question, mm -hmm. right? So now, now I'm the one who's looking like, oh, why are you talking about Jordan? Why are you saying right, this? Right. When you to put that out there, and now you at home or on your golf course or doing whatever you do, and now I got to answer this BS mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. So if you man enough, and you and you and you, if you meant it. Leave it as it is. Mm. But if you didn't mean it, then come out and clean it up. Mm -hmm. The same way it came out. Same way it came out. With the same intensity. You got to respect that, though. That's why I stand. That. I mean, because if the shoe was on the foot, I know I've been disrespected a lot, but if somebody disrespected me on TV during the game, but also at the end of the game, they decided, okay, you know what, I remember I said that. Let me clear this up before we get off air. I got to respect that. I can't hold it. I can't be mad at him no more because he corrected himself. Mm -hmm. Hey, you, you. You said Magic and I sat down and, and squashed whatever we had. Going Publicly. On. Publicly. Magic Johnson apologized. He said, I'm sorry. If I hurt you, when mm. I hurt you, I, I, I didn't mean that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. I, I got to accept that. Mm -hmm. And we move on. But if you're going to let this linger out here in this basketball world and you got everybody else talking, but you ain't saying nothing. Now, if you meant it, stand on it. Stand on it. But if you didn't mean it, clean it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.